This is uh, the chart of silver priced in US dollars on the 30 minute scale line style and the action on uh, Thursday, past Thursday and Friday, in my opinion, enhances very much uh, the likelihood that we are in a lateral force wave, lateral force wave, yes, horizontal force wave triangle, okay, which is, as far as I can see, is not finished. And it looks like we have more legs due here before we can call it uh, a complete pattern. Uh, and what we did here is basically part of the complex B that evolved as an ABC. We had another ABC here. Uh, we can take this as an A, this is a B, and the final C will be an ABC like that. You can alternatively work with an ABC, and that ABC will be an X, which means that that will be another ABC. Uh, and this bunch, yes, ABC, X, ABC, will actually form the B. Now, I'm sure you, you're you wondering, um, are we going to have follow through here? Uh, on, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, are we going to see it continuing higher? The way it closed, the way it closed on Friday is not terribly encouraging uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, talking about a bullish continuation here. Okay, I don't think it's terribly encouraging. Uh, it looks to me, to me like it could be perfectly finished uh, with this upsurge and um, we're not going to have to wait for long, of course. Uh, any early slump um, this coming week, anything like that should be the answer we're waiting for. And if we do get that, then I think we have to do this. Okay, and then we will be looking for the C basically to unfold. And given that each leg, you can see how long it took. Do not expect to, to see here uh, the C uh, basically over in two days. No, very unlikely. It's going to take, uh, I would say, at least uh, a week, if not two. Uh, and, and it's going to involve some complex uh, sideways price action here at around 17.6, 17.8. Should silver gather the strength and come back and run above this level, do not automatically assume that we are going to fly above the previous high. No, I would be um, suggesting you be on alert uh, that in fact it might give you another shot, take the stops from this zone, but in fact uh, reverse. And what I think uh, is the end of the B right now might actually be somewhere around here do you see this is the way i would go about it i will not assume at this point that the fourth wave is behind us uh, for many reasons yes for many reasons although i could be flat wrong but for many reasons and the main reason is the time scale okay because when you compare the scale um yes the the time that it took supposedly to finish the fourth wave here and you compare it to the second wave uh, in various currencies yeah, a silver price in various currencies, you see that it's very unlikely because normally a fourth wave is much longer than a second wave. Uh, therefore, I think that the likelihood that silver will continue sideways price action here for a few more weeks is very high. Okay, this is uh, gold in US dollars. Also here we have seen a jump that I have uh, prepared you for. I told you in the last few days I see a, a clear case for a further run up here. We also had uh, a quick look at uh, um, at gold and silver priced in Indian rupee and there the pattern was quite clear that it is uh, seeking to go higher. Uh, so I've treated this as an A. We had this as an A, B, C, D, E and I told you this is likely the end of the B and I had these arrows. In fact, we were working uh, on splitting the waves, yes, counting the mini waves here. Uh, in a way, the action in the gold is a bit disappointing because uh, ideally we would have loved to have seen a jump above this line, yes, and we didn't get it. It doesn't mean, of course, that we, are, we might not get it, it might still come, yes, but ideally, in order to get the sort of an ABC pattern um, behind us with some conviction, we would love to see it running above uh, the level here, 1,520, 
even maybe challenging uh, 1535 and then the ex my expectation is that it is not going to exceed uh, this level if at all uh, right now in this cycle yes in this upswing it's not going to exceed that uh, and it's going to come back and you already know the rest of the story yeah that's going to be our a that's our b c etc so we are on the 30 minute scale i'll jump here to the daily just to show you the um, the scale that we are working with and our preferred reading for gold so our preferred reading is that this is a one two okay you see the green one two that gave us the third wave and what we're doing now is a fourth wave so ideally yes ideally we should be seeing something like that evolving yeah evolving over the next several weeks now if it does shoot straight up through this level it would mean that uh, i personally wouldn't think that this is a three four okay as i already explained i think it will be way too brief um this is not even two months this is not even two months and even if i take the briefer version here this is more than two months so i would expect this to continue as i said but if it does shoot higher and it is consistent move which i really doubt uh it would probably mean that i have to subdivide what you see here differently okay um i would have to review that uh but uh, right now i expect it to continue sideways for quite a few more weeks his uh, gold priced in uh, Japanese yen, that's the daily. And also here we have seen a clear, clear run. And I also expected uh, a breakout here as I prepared you for that. I told you we are very likely looking at an ABC behind us. That's an A, that's B. I was looking for a C. Uh, we got that. It's possible it's over. It's possible we'll have a uh, further attempt. But again, I do not expect it to be long lasting. Uh, maybe go up maybe challenge the top it will not in itself um, nullify the wave count that i'm working with meaning the fact that it's going to run about the previous high is not going to cancel completely the idea that this is actually a fourth wave and we are going to at the end of the day see our triangle big triangle and will continue up yes it can do that there is nothing uh, technically um, blocking it from uh, going through uh basically piercing the top now here's the 60 minute scale uh, we've got this as an a that's a b looking for a c uh, this is a mistake what you see here yes this stick down here so um if you're wondering is there scope for further push higher yes there could be definitely a scope for further push above this level and maybe even another one if you're dealing with a one two one two uh that'll be a three four three four yeah and then um peaking and coming back 